Terraform and Ansible together are the perfect combo for anyone serious about DevOps, from infrastructure provisioning to full configuration automation. And that's exactly what we're building in this new series, DevOps in Practice. Here, we're going to show you how these two tools work side by side in a real hands-on project that goes beyond theory. But before we dive into the code, let's quickly break down the core concept. What is infrastructure as code, IAC? Why is Terraform so powerful? And how does Ansible simplify configuration without needing agents? This video sets the stage and leading the way is our expert from the cloud bootcamp, Herbert Pereira. If you want to master real DevOps workflows, this is where it starts. Hello, we're back again, and this time with a practical DevOps hands-on, real provisioning with Terraform, and automated configuration with the powerful Ansible. This time for this project, we'll be working directly with these two powerful tools that are widely used in the job market. But before we get to work, let's first take a moment to quickly understand a few important underlying concepts. When we talk about infrastructure as code, we're essentially talking about using code to automatically create, manage, and maintain infrastructure, and talking about infrastructure automation. This is where Terraform transforms infrastructure management by offering cloud independence, multi-platform support, exceptional adaptability, and a decisive competitive advantage. You are not tied to a single provider. In other words, you avoid the famous lock-in, and this gives you the freedom to run your infrastructure in any cloud you choose. But keep in mind that native solutions such as AWS CloudFormation, Microsoft Azure ARM Template, or Google Cloud Deployment Manager are also good and excellent tools, but they tie you to the provider. As for configuration automation, we have reliable tools that help guarantee consistent, repeatable, and fully standardized configurations. The highlight here is definitely Ansible, because it's simple, completely agentless, easy to learn, and widely adopted worldwide. However, there are also other strong options available such as Chef, Puppet, or even AWS Systems Manager itself. Now let's go ahead and talk about what exciting project we're going to build together. Our project involves creating two virtual machines EC2 instances on AWS, with one running the Debian Linux distribution and the other running Red Hat Enterprise Linux. We're also going to carefully configure a dedicated security group to fully guarantee proper, secure, reliable and controlled access to these machines. In the next upcoming videos of this DevOps in Practice series, we'll be covering and exploring the following topics in detail. From the environment setup video instructions, here we're going to properly set up a dedicated EC2 workstation instance, install Terraform, Ansible, PIP, Python, and all the other essential prerequisites needed for Terraform and Ansible to function correctly. This leaves the environment ready for automation. Then we move on to the infrastructure configuration part, I mean provisioning with Terraform. At this stage, we'll write the code that creates our infrastructure on AWS. Terraform will provision not only the two EC2 instances, one Debian and one Red Hat, but it will also configure the security group and properly allow Ansible to seamlessly communicate with these machines. Finally, we'll move on to configuring all the resources with Ansible. With the servers already up and running, it's time to automate everything. We will create an inventory file, configure this inventory with the machines we've just created, and then write a playbook fully capable of installing Apache on these machines. And here's an interesting detail. Each Linux distribution has its own package manager and unique peculiarities. For example, when installing Apache on Debian, we can easily use the APT package manager to handle it. On Linux Red Hat machines, we can conveniently use yum to install and configure Apache. So how exactly will Ansible handle this? And that's precisely what we're going to demonstrate, how Ansible will help us tackle this mission in a simple, efficient, and well-organized way. In the end, you'll experience a complete cycle going from infrastructure provisioning with Terraform to fully automated configuration with Ansible. All hands on in practice, and I'll see you in the very next environment preparation video. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. And then if you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. And then also, please leave us a comment telling us what you think about this video and also the things that you'd like to see in a new video here on our channel, okay? And then if you're interested in mastering Move Cloud DevOps and AI with our help, please check the links in the description as well. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye for now.